Today on Man Crafting, I'm going to show you how to take catalog quality images on the cheap using your cell phone, some inexpensive lighting, poster board, and nothing more than a regular old box. Well, here it is. This is my simple little home do it yourself photography studio. As you can see it's just some simple lights from Home Depot. I've got some poster board on the back and diffusion paper or diffusion cloth on the sides to soften the light that's coming off of those reflector lights that I got at Home Depot. I've used this setup and prior to this I used a smaller Rubbermaid style container that the plastic on it was transparent and it had enough opaqueness to it to also diffuse the light pretty well and that worked really well for small items I built this to be able to hold just a little bit bigger items and I can take probably a picture of two to three cups in this particular box and as you'll see in a minute I've actually removed the box on occasion and that white background that's behind is my backdrop for larger items or larger group pictures. Okay, so here I've removed the box and I'm just using the lights directly at the backdrop and lighting the front of the cup. That's really the only way I could take a shot like this where I have five cups in the picture. It's just too wide otherwise. It's also nice having that large backdrop when I'm taking a picture of a tall image like this one. Okay, once I'm ready to take pictures, what I wanna do is have the grid lines on so I can basically use the rule of thirds. So I'm gonna make sure that my image is right in the dead center. So if you look here, there's my image. And here it is on the phone. The other thing you're gonna notice is that if I push down on this, you'll see it say AEAF lock. Now I can slide this up and down and I can lighten or darken the image. And I like to get it so I have an actually a true white background. And then at that point I can take the picture. Okay, once again, I got the uh, image locked into place where I want it. And I'm going to adjust this so I can get the color, the background white, but also want the color of the cup to be as re representative of what I see the cup to look like. One more example, here's the Yeti can that comes in the koozies. And again, try to get a little bit truer color and get the background whited out. I'm just gonna move that button and try to get that as, again, rule of thirds, I want that centered on that picture. Okay, so now I've got a slightly larger image. I'm gonna zoom back out. Bring it up. Try to fill the image. And again, this is definitely a limitation of having the box. This is a really tall, it's about just about to get it there. Okay. So once again, get that AEAF lock on there and then that background right where you want it. Well, there you go. On the cheap, on the extremely cheap. I don't always even use the tripod for taking pictures. I did it for this video because otherwise you're gonna have a really shaky <laughs> images. But nothing more than just uh, some fluorescent bulbs. I've also used LED bulbs and cardboard box, some white poster board, and one of the critical things is 
you can see here I curved this up on the side. That really helps at uh, reflecting the light and preventing a lot of shadows from being cast. But those are the things that I do to get good pictures for my Facebook page. Well, hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section. I'd be glad to help you out in any way I can. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching. Also, here's a quick shout out to Brian Robinson from our Facebook page for motivating me to get this video done tonight. It was on my to-do list, but uh, had he not prompted me tonight, I probably wouldn't have gotten it done today. Thanks again, Brian. So like Brian, if you see something that maybe I should cover in a video, please make the recommendation and I will try to get one done for you. Thank you.